Hi everyone, I'm Lauren and welcome to my Art Nook. If you'd like, please check me out on my Etsy page or Instagram. I'll put the links below. Today we are going to try something new, which I love to do. Um, today we are going to be using some alcohol inks on some paper that is meant for alcohol inks. If you've seen my videos before, you know that I don't typically use alcohol inks the way they're supposed to be used. Um, which I'll leave a link up above where you can check out how I typically use my alcohol inks. This paper is made by Bria Reese. Um, it's similar to Yepo paper, I think is how you say it. Um, I've never tried it. It's kind of different. <laughs> I'm having trouble kind of getting the hang of how the alcohol inks flow on the paper. Um, so I'm trying a few different techniques of how to um, apply the alcohol inks and how to spread it about. Um, I'm, I like how the adding the alcohol ink, alcohol to the alcohol inks in my little um, tray there dilutes them a lot before I add them to the paper. I think that's a nice look. Um, but I do also like how it almost makes it look gritty when I just apply the ink directly to the paper and then add the alcohol on top of it. So there's different ways I'm getting different almost textured looks. It's very interesting. So I'm trying a couple different attempts, a different techniques um, that I've seen other people use. Um, I do feel that I'm having to use a lot more ink with this paper than just like my typical way of using alcohol inks and like my junk journals or on normal paper. I feel like I'm just having to use a lot more alcohol and a lot more ink to get it moving or get it looking the way I want. Um, I've also found out that using a straw gets it to kind of move across the paper the easiest, but oh my gosh. <laughs> If you do not have the greatest lung capacity on earth, this can be exhausting. <laughs> and as an ex-smoker, oh my goodness, this was exhausting. <laughs> I kept getting out of breath. I was like, ah, ah. oh my God, more, more breath, more oxygen, please. But then I would just get like a gust of alcohol fumes in my face and it can be a little challenging. So I decided to try and Give the straw a break and let's try and see if we can paint them on. See what kind of look we would get with the paintbrush. I got a little shot glass of alcohol there to kind of dilute it, kind of as if there were watercolors. And it, it's okay. You could go this approach, but you get a lot of lines and um, it just kind of. It, it, I don't care for this look because you get it doesn't fade quite right you can get it to fade a little bit but I just I didn't care for this look I, I, I prefer just, still just dropping it right on there I use the little dropper the eyedropper thing to put the alcohol on top I, I like that a lot more than the paintbrush some people I'm sure with practice could just master paintbrush and alcohol that, mm -mm, not my thing, can't do it. Um, I would suggest if you're gonna use the straw, get a big straw, like a boba tea straw. That's kind of what this is. It's one of those big, thick, fat boba tea straws. And it's just, that way you can get a big stream, a big gust of air blowing across your page. And kind of getting tired of having to blow here and so I'm just kind of like done I'm done with you get out of here let's try let's try my little heat gun to see if I can get the ink to move with it and even though it was on a lower temperature setting and it wasn't hot really at all it still didn't do the trick it really just like just dried it out real fast it moved it a little bit just not in the way I wanted. I kept trying and uh, I had seen that I'm not sure if anyone else has seen this. Tim Holtz has come out with an alcohol ink like stamp pad. 
I'm assuming it's just a alcohol stamp pad where you can remove alcohol ink from like pictures. So I tried that just there with that stamp by spraying it with alcohol and then putting it down. It did work kinda, not great. I might try this again if you guys like it by going out and getting his stamp pad and giving this another go. We'll see. So we're going to give this a third shot. We're going to try a third piece of this paper. We do have 10 pieces, so we can do this again if you guys enjoy it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know what was wrong with this bottle. It was being a jerk. It did not want to come out. Sorry for the obscene hand gesture there. It just squirted like a ton of ink out, entirely too much ink that it, than what I needed. It looked black, <laughs> but it's a beautiful blue, a beautiful blue. And I have way too much of that ink here, way too much of it. So I am doing my best, <laughs> my absolute darndest. I'm about to pass out trying to move this around. Like, oh my goodness, move, <laughs> move you stupid blue, move. And finally I kind of get it to a good place and I'm like okay we're gonna move on to the next corner I think this turned out to be the best out of the three that I did I like this the most so at this point I'm kind of getting the hang of it but yeah it's it's kind of challenging I would say this is something that takes a little bit of practice and a little bit of lung power because <laughs> that is not easy to do Maybe if you get some runner lungs, if you're, if you're someone that works out a lot and goes on long jogs, long runs, maybe you get that lung capacity. Not me. <laughs> Not yet. Maybe eventually. I'll work on it. We'll see. So I'm going to put down a fourth color here. Um, that top left one and this bottom right one are both blacks, but they are so like interesting how they just change color when I put them down and spray them that they one looks like a grayish color and one looks almost purple I love it it's amazing that's one thing I love about alcohol inks is when they get diluted with alcohol they just completely change colors so I went ahead and just dried it with my um, heat gun and I think this is the best one I love how this one came out I'm not going to touch it anymore. I'm calling it good. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, a like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and let me know if you guys enjoy me trying new things. I know I enjoy it. And if you have something you want me to try, let me know in the comments, and I will check you guys out in the next video. Later.